It's a sort of domestic drama um, uh, that maybe touches on the time in our life as children where we realize that we are fundamentally alone. But you don't get a chance to do Mammoth very often. Um, and when you do, as an actor, you jump at it because it's part of the... I mean, in terms of contemporary work, it's really... There isn't very much better. You have to have a lot of balls in the air, uh, so to speak. You've got to be... You do voice work, and you do bad television, and you do good television, and you do bad films, and you do good films, and you don't really have... You don't have a whole lot of... Especially in Canada, you don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, control or choice over what you do, so... Um, there's nothing better than being involved in, in this type of work. Well, I met Carl probably 10 or 12 years ago at uh, a bunch of festivals. He had a film at the Toronto Film Festival years ago and I had a film there and we just sort of socialized and I liked his aesthetic and he claimed to uh, like what I did and so that we'd always just sort of said, let's do, we should do something someday. So he basically came in with an outline. He said, this is what I want your storyline to be. I'm doing a film about fathers and sons relationships and I want your storyline to be about four brothers who are fighting over or who are examining their father's will. Um, and, uh, and he had some plot points that he wanted to be hit. I mean, he carved it out pretty well. But w in the middle of that, he said, uh, this is an improv film. So, you know, I'm going to turn the camera on and just go. My father died when I was very young. Um, so I didn't have, I was sort of surrounded by women in my life um, growing up. Uh, so yeah, I did, I thought about, I did, it did make me think about it a lot, playing a, playing a man whose father has just died.